Today, uh, we're going to start off with Masterclass Lesson 2, how you can transform your English website into a Chinese website using our Elementor Pro. Okay, this is uh, Masterclass uh, Lesson 2, which I'm going to show you how I can translate the uh, English version into a Chinese version. Before I head on to that, let us understand this section is divided into two columns. This is the left column and this is the right column where you can see an image here. Now on the left column, basically you have a logo, which I'm going to change the logo into Chinese. And now below this logo you have the title different color versions and you have also a small title here and the text and the button so how would you want to see that your this website turn into this website okay is what you will be seeing right Chinese version exactly the same of course this image you can change any image that you want to okay let's go back and see how we can change all this there's a logo here the text uh, the title the title small title text, and the button okay and then you have a background Right, a background behind. Okay, let's go through, see what we can do about it. Now I will go into the WordPress. Let me go into this WordPress here. Let me shut this off. Okay, just shut it off. We're going to start a new page. All right, this is the old one. We go a new page. I will start from the beginning so that you have a better idea of what you want to do. Okay. Now I will start and add a new page. All right. Add a new page. So this one is uh, put it into. Let me put say um. Let's say Chinese. Okay. E S E version, All right? I S I O N. Okay, basically this will be a Chinese version. The next step we have to ensure this is not a sales page. This is more like a landing page. So I need to change this under Elementor under Canvas. Right, so you won't see the header and the footer here. But anyway, we are doing it as a section by section so that you understand the various section, the various column, the various region, and the various element. Okay, let's start with the um, edit elemental. Right. Okay, let's wait for a while. Okay, I think I early in the lesson that I show you. You have here is this is the widget, and you can just drag and drop. Okay, and then this one you you know that you have a folder with all the template. I click in it, you can see all the template inside that you can choose from. Right, but we are not going to use a template. We're going to create our own template, right? So we go back out. So what we need to do is here is the where we have to see. Let us figure out. And I say that just now we say that this is the English version, the Chinese version, same thing. But here you have two columns, right? There's two columns, one column, two columns. So let's begin with two columns, right here. 
So I'm going to click here, two column. And you can see there are two column and two column. Right. Okay, let's do the layout uh, first. I think the easier one to do is, this is the image here. I will load the image first. Okay, let us load the image. So you have one column, two column. Now I got to go to this widget and I tell them I want an image. So I drag this image right to the top here and until you see the blue line. Let it go. They ask for me to input the image. So I click, it will go into a media library. So this is the one that I want. Insert media. And immediately you see the media file there. All the adjustment or whatever, we will leave it later part. Now, of course, on the left hand column, you can see that is, this is a logo. Logo is an image, right? Logo is an image. We have to put an image here, but now I'm going to use a different image. But leave this. Uh, I will create this column first. I will create this, sec this, this section, little section first. And we come back later. Okay. So what I'll do is basically, uh, you can see from here, if I click this pencil mark here, you already can see this is the image here. So I can put in an image, my logo image. And let's say um, from here, before I do that, I must take, uh, let me do, I take a logo, right? Again, it is a logo. Track this logo, right? And actually below the logo, there is a little text, right? But because the logo doesn't came with a Chinese tag, so I have to do the Chinese tag. Okay, let's uh, look at it. Before we convert any Chinese version from the English version to the Chinese version or here, right? We must prepare ourselves first. Okay, we have to prepare everything, which means that uh, I have to go into the text file. Okay, the name and I convert into Chinese this one into Chinese the editor text in English to the Chinese and don't forget the button and the logo under aromatic healer and this is the Chinese words okay you can see that so I must prepare this before actually I start creating the page go back to the page and you can see all here this has been done Right, so this is a logo. This one hasn't changed logo yet. I hasn't changed the Chinese word here. So what I do, go back. Let's start here. Okay, put in the um, logo here. So I just click the logo. I insert. Okay, I make sure that it's in the center. Okay, but this logo looks a bit big, so I have to reduce it to thumbnail. It's much smaller. I can still reduce it, but we will do the editing part later. So what I need to do is the text. We need to have a text. So I have to add in the text here, or a heading, just down below here. All right. This one I have to move it to the center. Now this is an English version, All right? So as I say, I need to convert it into Chinese. I'm going to use the Chinese words. So what I do, I get it logo here. Right. What I need to do is I highlight the thing. Copy. So I can copy. Copy. There you are. Let's go. And I click here. Pencil mark here. This is where all the elements are going to put in. So I put it into Chinese, so I paste. See, All right, that's look nice, but I don't. 
I don't edit in the spacing first. Let's do other things first. Okay, you will see the side here, you have a space here. Right, I must leave a space here. Let's go into adding spacing. Right. So what I do, I got to go to the widget. I look for space. So I just drag, just put below. So this spacing at the moment is about 50 pixel height, or whatever you call. But I just leave it blank. So Next, I need to have here, let me see here, I have a Chinese version, it's a completely Chinese, and uh, I need to go to this part here, copy the whole thing in Chinese, right, right click, I copy, then the next thing I will do is move back to the side over here. Now this is the spacing, so I need to drag in another one. I need to drag in uh, heading text here, just right below here, below the text. So this one I already copied the Chinese version. I just basically just to paste it paste right so I need to move into the center move it to the center so it becomes oh no this is not the center this is the side way you will look at here it's on the side okay so it's all right so the next one is also another title widget you have to put in another title widget. If you look at here, there is another title widget. This is a subtitle. Okay. So what I do, I go back. I take this subtitle here. All right. Copy it. Copy the thing. Now I go back. I want to put it here, so let's do this below below this one, right? So we need to go to the widget uh, heading just below, okay, just below it. So I change this into Chinese, paste it. So in Chinese, okay, don't bother the size and everything. We'll come back later when we do the adjustment, right? So this is done. And the next thing to do is the, uh, this is the text element here. So we have the English version. This is the text element, you can see from here. So we go back here, let's go and get the things ready. It's so easy, copy and paste, copy and paste when you are done your work. But you need to do all the preparation. Right, right click, copy. Okay. Go back to the side, go to the widget, look at the text editor, just right below. Okay. Chain all the elements here into Chinese. Paste it. There you are. Okay. It's all in Chinese. And you can see I almost changing everything. We do the setting later. Okay. Let's look at uh, what is next. The next one is the button element. This is the button element. So in Chinese, also there is a button element here. So I need to see the button, what do they call, book an appointment, okay. right click, copy, move back, ok, 
Okay, I'm going here. So the button is just right below here. And um, for the widget, the button. Drag and drop. But inside here, the content is click here. But we are not going to do click here. So we look at the text message. We paste the Chinese word. I click and we paste. So this is in Chinese. Let's look again. This is a blue background with a border red. So we need to change this. Okay, we need to change this. Okay, that's what uh, we are looking at all of this uh, converted into Chinese. But I make sure I have to publish it first, otherwise you know you will miss it then you will not able to recover so it's always good to save it first now the version here you can see let's go one by one i think here is a bit big not as big as uh, the other one we have to bring it down to the size let me see this is hasn't changed okay we have to bring it to the size so what should we do on the logo here the logo part okay the logo part we click into the pencil mark the widget there and uh, in the center and we go to style all right we go to style um, let me see what is the color okay it's a blue color so we need to see the color color is blue all right and we go to typographer we need to change the size right about this uh, okay this is about it now we have to move this closer to the logo <clears throat> okay before i start doing this text here i think i have to do the logo first right the logo is already in thumbnail but it's still very big consider very big so what i need to do i go to style right image this is image let me see the white so you can see the white i can just do as much as this can adjust until i'm happy with the size so this is 16. <clears throat> so maximum 16 huh? something like that so it doesn't look too big the logo there okay then i can reduce this one right into depot i can reduce it smaller 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 okay then i move a bit closer how do i do it go to advance Make sure I have all this. Okay. I want to move closer to the logo. So what I do is I went into minus, 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 minus until I'm happy with it. <clears throat> okay. So this will look a better logo. But the spacing will come later. Then we do it. Now here we have a uh, the title right let me see the title is basically one black and blue right so we change it blue first then I will change it black first let look at the black side then I change all black first it's easier uh, go to here let's see then here text color black okay text color black and the other one also I change it black first. Okay, text color black. Like black, this one lighter. Or maybe this one better. Now you see here all we started with black and everything. So the same thing to this one. I think this is black already. That color light black. Yes, that's it. So we all readjustment on this okay uh, this one is 
I'm not sure, but I think it's a bit small. So how are we going to see? Here is a content. We can look at it. It's under H2, but we can change it to H1. Right? Slightly bigger. H1. Right? When it's H1, then we see here. Now, this part is... One part is blue. Okay, I'm not sure that one part is blue. So what do we do? We're going to change the blue color on the other side. So I need to click in between here. I must put a code. Right there, I have to put a code. So this code is basically, we have to put this one sign inside. Move your cursor in. Then you have to be SPA and spam style S T uh, Y L E okay equal right column then you put color C O L O R color now oh. so you must give the color name if you know the color the code right the code is simple you got the um, hex sign all right color is zero zero seven six seven six okay seven six ff okay ff and then you close it all right there you come blue color See that it's a blue color, came out. And then, not forgetting, we have to move the end part of here. This is the text. Then we're going to close. Go, S, B, A, N. We close this part here. So it's completely chained to blue color, right? So you have the blue, you have this. Now the next one is this. I think this one is the wording is a bit big you know so click and see look at content this is h2 so you probably change to h3 now maybe we change to h4 yeah i think maybe this look better let's look at the english version yeah it's just about that so chinese version okay Right, let's look back, go back here. I think if you want to change smaller, you still can do so. I think maybe give a H5 and see how it looks like. Uh, H5. Much better, I think. H5 is much better. So here, the color is okay. Right, but now here, let's look at this. This one is all in Chinese version. We look at the content, we know that. And we look at the Chinese version, just only about two lines. Let's look at the English version, it's about three lines. Okay, maybe English is longer. Okay, let's go to here. I think this this is okay. I believe this is okay. Um, let's go to style, color black, and then typographer. Uh, I always play with the size. We want to know the size here. The vintage, maybe we put lighter color. Put it to 5. Much better. Or you want to put it to... You can even go even lighter. This is 4. Or this is even 3. Right. So let's, I think put it to about 4. Will be much nicer. Okay, now if you see here and then I you want to adjust the size, you can adjust here. See, you adjust the size. That's how you adjust the size, 16 or maybe here. Much better. Now, if you want to adjust the line height, you can now come down here and adjust line height. See, line height, this is called line height. And if you want to adjust the spacing between words, then you can move here. See? Right, so you can move the words, the spacing of the word. Let's look at the English version. Not the English version. English version got three uh, lines. 
maybe we try and do three lines and see how we can work from there. Yeah, I think this 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 look better. This will look much better. Okay, then we go into the button area. Now the button area is basically we work on this button. We create the button. We already put the Chinese version. And I think uh, what we need to do, we need to turn it into so-called round and things and then of course the version round, the weight is longer for the Chinese version. Um, you can see it's shorter. So we need to do something about here. Let's go here and let's see how we can do. Okay, we go to button. This is small. See whether I can increase the medium size. Or maybe it's better, medium size. And we go to style. Look at style. Alright, okay. Uh, text color is white. Don't touch it. Background color is blue. So we look for something that is blue. Okay. Darker blue a bit. The blue color. And there you are. So this is blue. Right. Now, uh, the border type. This is the border line around here. So we put a bit solid. No, solid. So you can see it's a solid but no, no color yet. My background is blue but this border don't have. So we need to put a color. Maybe we put red. So we can see very obviously. Right, red will be much obvious. You can see a red color. Let's go around a bit. Yeah. So you can see a bit red. Uh, but what about the thickness? Okay, the border type, the thickness. So we want to increase it. One, two. Oh, not this single. Okay, we go back to all. Oh, see? So this is more single, but uh, uh, because the wording is small, I mean the shorter. Okay, let's let's put it red. You can see red around it here, the border red. But I want it to be round. Okay, so what I need to do border radius. Border radius, I can just uh, no no one, but I need to change round it all. So let's increase. See how again go to twenty five, maybe twenty. Does it look nice? Okay, we have, uh, uh, because of the wording is shorter, but of course we still can do something. Either we increase the, I call it the style, the text style. Go back to text, increase the size. It's bigger a little bit. Right, then you need to change the round. Too big, I think it's too big. Doesn't look very nice. Smaller, a bit to be better. Yeah. Okay, the only way we can do is another one way to do is from here. We add in um, left side. Oh, no, no. Uh, this left side say um, increase to maybe some distance. Yeah. Right, and then the right side also increase a little bit. This is the padding between, so we put it to 13 or so. Right, so we increase that. And then the the round part is doesn't look very nice, but uh, we can go back here, go back to this part here. Okay, we can make it round. Up, up, up. Right. Up to you can do up to fifty and see how it look like. Maybe better in fifty, right? So okay. Now, uh, once we done all this, you look at the logo, the title, this, and there is a gap. Maybe there is a gap here. Let's look at the English version. The gap is very small. Okay, between the button and this one, there is a spacing. Okay, I think the spacing should be all right. I think so let's look at it and uh, let's go at our side. There's not much spacing. 
So the same thing we go down here, we talk about space, we just drag just above the button. Not to worry, but uh, we can just do some adjustment from here. This part here, I think we put a bit of spacing. Another spacing, put it here so that you look much more uh, nicer looking. Okay. Then uh, we can drag near this one. If we do, we can drag near a little bit. Okay. We go near a little bit. This one also we go near a little bit. So it more look more the gap and the spacing look much more professional. You can see from here this part this spacing is quite big. Okay, I want to see this part. So if you want to increase the spacing here, you can just basically just move here, then you will move down. Okay, the gap. Now we notice the image here. Uh, it look a bit high, so what I need to do the same thing I'll do. I drag a space here on top. Okay, on top here, so you bring it down. So now you see more, more lightly and more closer to your image. Now the space I can increase it down a little bit. All right, so you can go further down if you want to. All right, almost level with the uh, button almost level to the button. So this is almost done. What we miss out here is the background of this part. It's a complete section. So if a complete section, I must go to a section area. Click section, right? When I click section, I make sure all this is correct. I want it to be content with full up to 1002 be nice because why if you not then you will not cover whatever you have 1002 I think it's just nice okay right it's just nice the button is there the text maybe you think is a bit closer to the edge you still can move it around but anyway this one is okay you look back this is all right now but if you want to adjust the spacing here especially this one too close what you can do is put some margin right okay this one is this one so we put in margin here so what we do uh, we want to have more on the left margin right. so we increase we increase oh so no, no this is a whole lot i don't want to have the whole lot no. so okay go back to zero first okay now i want to move a little bit from there see i move i start moving right 15, you hit to 15. This one also, maybe we move a little bit. Uh, margin, right? So, uh, click here. Left margin. Move until it is all the same. Same thing to this. Go to advance, advance. Margin left. So, we put now it look much better. Don't forget the button. The button I think should be alright. Button. Let's go to the button side. Okay. Button advance. Oh, I think they already move a bit. I remove them a bit. Never mind. It's okay now. So you see that uh, the whole thing. Let's check. It is alright. Okay. At least there's some spacing here. And the Chinese version. And then the adjustment of the height. Okay, let's let's do the background. So background, I need to go to a complete section. Set two thousand two. I say no gap. No gap. Okay, sometimes we use minimum height, but we don't need this in this case. Quite simple. Uh, so now I got to go to style. All right, background, classic. Set classic, uh, don't bother about color because I want an image at the back. So I got to look for image. I think this is an image. I just set, insert, all done. Look very professional. Uh, okay, then I update it. Okay, when I update, 
Right, after update, I can view the whole page. Let's view it. You can see it's turning, come out another page, right? Right, so you can see now I have done one section. We change the logo, title text, and the rest, and it's all in Chinese. So it's a way we talk about doing designing from English to the Chinese version. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Well, we have come to the end of lesson two. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about landing page, blog posts, and other animated effect website. I would like to thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoy and learning more in the future.